great year folks and this is another day and you are welcome to banahene tutorial collections in this video let's look at some tips and tricks we can utilize in our word document in microsoft word the first on my list is how to utilize the status bar in microsoft word now this is my opened word document and if you want to identify the status bar you move to the bottom of this word document and this bar that is located here is called the status bar there are so many things that you can optimize with this particular feature in microsoft word now the first thing that you can utilize on this status bar is when you move to the status bar we have this page one of one and this tells you the number of pages that you have in your word document and also the current page you are located or you are working within that is this particular feature when you click on this this opens the navigation pane in microsoft word where you can utilize your headings pages or results and this feature gives you an option to have an advanced operation within your word document and when you click on it once again this is going to deactivate the navigation pane now when you move to the right side we have this words available that tells you the number of words that you've typed in your word document so currently we have 132 words another thing is if i select this line of text and move back to my status bar it tells me that i have selected 17 words out of 132 words when i select a single word it tells me that i have selected one word out of 132 words so this status bar is a great feature you need to utilize you need to focus on this particular feature when you move to the right side it gives you the option to zoom out and zoom in depending on your preference so this status bar has a lot of things you can utilize it also gives you the room to change the view layout of your word document if you choose this option this gives you another view option and when you choose this particular option which is the print layout this is the normal view and when you choose this particular one this becomes the read mode view so these are some of the view options you can optimize on the status bar to cancel you can press the escape key on the keyboard and this brings you back to the print layout so these are the three options we have the web layout we have the print layout and also we have the read mode now what is special about this particular status bar which i want to let you know so that you can apply that to your daily activities in microsoft word when you place your pointer on this bar and right click you have so many options you can check and have its effect applied to your word document there's one particular thing i want you to know and that is to check this option which is over type this allows you to type your text and that is going to overwrite an existing text so how can we utilize this i'm going to place my pointer on this particular line which is this line that we have here let me screw up so that is the fourth line in this paragraph so i'm going to click so that i have my cursor blinking at the beginning of this particular line then when i move to the status bar i'm going to have a click on this insert option and this changes to the over type mode now when i start to type see what happens in this particular line so you can see that as i am typing this is overwriting or this is clearing out the existing text i have in that particular paragraph this is one feature you can use in microsoft Word. that is the status bar which gives you the option to use this particular element which is called the over type to type to overwrite your existing text this gives you the room to know which text you want to omit and which text you want to maintain in your word document so i'll urge you to utilize the status bar in microsoft word the next tip in microsoft word and that is how to select a paragraph i have a video that shows you the different kinds of selection tips and tricks you can explore within your word document just place your pointer 
in between your paragraph and triple click this is going to select your paragraph and another way is to place your pointer at the beginning of your paragraph that is to select the first line of your paragraph and double click this is also going to select your paragraph in microsoft word the next tip is how to utilize your vertical and horizontal scroll bar in microsoft word always the vertical scroll bar is available and that is showcased at the right side of your microsoft word window this is the vertical scroll bar it allows you to move up and down to view your available documents in microsoft word now one thing is when you right click on this bar you have these options we have screw here we have top bottom page up page down we have screw up also we have screw down when you choose this first option what happens is that you screw here and here is what is available or that is the interface that you have at your front door when you right click and choose top this also moves to the top especially when you have a lot of pages bottom this moves to the bottom of your page so you can see now that we are at the bottom of this particular page and when you move to top you can see the effect bottom screw here screw here means we are still in the bottom of this particular page and when you use page up this moves you to the the beginning of the page and that is if you have a lot of pages it will jump to the beginning of every page available in your word document and when you screw and then choose page down this moves to the next page of your word document and also we have screw up this is going to move bit by bit so you get to the beginning of your word document now when you move to this side there is no horizontal scroll bar available and to get this horizontal bar activated then you have to change the view option of your word document so if i zoom in to a certain percentage now you can see that i have activated this horizontal scroll bar and when you right click on it you also have these options and now it says scroll here left edge right edge page left page right scroll left and also scroll right you can utilize all these options when you have your vertical and horizontal scroll bar activated this is another tip that you can utilize in microsoft word especially if you are not a keyboard fanatic the next feature is to use the find and replace option now what is the find and replace option in microsoft word it is a feature that allows you to identify a particular text and replace it with another text now let's utilize this option this is my content available let's assume that i have some repeated words or text in this paragraph and i want to replace them especially let's assume that we want to replace video with another word now there are a lot of videos in this particular content and to quickly identify them let's use the control key and the letter f you can still use the status bar by clicking and that is going to open the navigation pane and in the results tab we can search for video and this gives us four results and when we move to our web document you can see that we have four words selected which matches the search that i search in the navigation search box so we have one two three and four results so let's assume that there are a lot of these words available and i want to replace them manually you have to click and type to make the changes and that is going to take a long time for you to have this operation done so this is where the find and the replace option comes in so i'm going to close this pane and i'm going to use ctrl plus h on the keyboard this opens the find and replace dialog box and since i have already searched for this particular word in the navigation pane it has been shown in the find what option therefore if i want to replace this i'm going to type footage and initially if you have no word in this field 
then you need to type the word that you want to find and also type the word you want to replace now that i have this done i can quickly click on this replace all or i can hold the alt key and the letter a and then i'm going to press the enter key but before then it tells you that all done we made for replacement and if you could remember when we were searching this particular word in the navigation pane we had four results therefore we have replaced four results in our word document you can press the enter key and then you press the escape key on the keyboard to cancel this particular dialog box now when you move to the word documents we have footage 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 and also footage now we've done these changes beautifully now we also have another word which is team control h team and i'm going to change the theme to and i'm going to hold the alt key and the letter a and press the enter key escape to cancel and now i have subject replaced the theme in my word document so this is how to use the find and replace option in microsoft word there are other options you can optimize these are some of the few things that you should put into practice i'll have a future video on how to use this particular feature in microsoft word the next thing that you should have on your fingertips is the redo and also the undo option and this is when you have to use your keyboard shortcut especially when you have some errors or some mistakes that has been done in your word document you can quickly revert that mistakes or errors we just replace the subject to the theme that were located in our word document so to undo this option we can use the control key and the letter z and you can see that i have changed this subject back to the theme control z and now i have my video here and if let's assume that i still want to maintain the new changes that i had in my word document i can use the control plus y that is for the redo action and that is going to change it back to the footage control y and the theme has also changed to subject so using control plus z and control plus y helps you to undo and redo some actions and this gives you a perfect way of creating a professional word document so these are some of the tips and tricks i want to share with you put them into practice and be a controller of microsoft word thank you for watching this video and see you in the next 